People, my people, winter is fast approaching. We're in May. We've got about three weeks left of autumn. So the ice is coming in, people. And of course, it's the perfect time of the year to go drinking gin. Ha! How dare you suggest that gin is actually a summer drink. I give you the main ingredient in tonight's spectacular one beach organic dry, of course, because I do not do bad gins. Actually, I don't do bad booze at all. They're the ones that Odette does. Go and check out Odette and the gins and tonics and stuff that you really should be avoiding. So I'm making up a gin toddy starring One Beach Organic Dry. Go and say hi to Dave and Dean and I'll tell you that Odin sent you. So without any further ado, let's get this baby moving. Now I happen to think that this recipe would be really good if you were out camping this winter. So you're out in some national park, you brought your One Beach Organic Dry and of course it's really cold and you want to warm yourself up. And that's the reason why I've decided to include my very own camping stove front and center into this baby. And I'll pan up, see? And because watching water boil is about as fascinating as watching grass grow, what I will tell you is I'm going to add a sort of spices. In this case, it's cinnamon, cardamom, and ginger into a pot. The original recipe actually calls for cloves, but I have an intolerance of cloves. Cloves make me break out in spots, so I will save you the horrible drama of watching me boil this for 10 fascinating minutes. So the entire point of the boiling, which you can see happening just off to the right hand side of your screen, is to infuse the water with the spices. So this is aluminium, it's my own camping gear. So I'm not doing anything terribly high tech. You can see it's a standard gas canister out of uh, any, pretty well any Australian camping store that beautiful blue flame. And of course, the mug is my world famous one, which I convey to people around me when they really haven't got their shit together, I think they should, that basically their inability to get their shit together is not my problem. So we're gonna infuse these, the water with these spices. We're gonna add a couple of extra things to make this really palatable. And then this is gonna be the gin toddy that you are really gonna to want to go to for this winter because this is the time of year where my friends and my family all roll their eyes and go, we're now about to have six months of Odin bitching to us about how fucking cold he is. So that's the reason why you've got that beautiful blue flame. And you can imagine you're actually out in the bush and the moon is full and there's a frost that would just put frost on your freckle frothing forward and, well, you know how cold it is. It's the sort of cold that encourages, how should I say, intimacy. We really don't want to be in your... Um, sleeping bag by yourself trust me I've been out there it's a great excuse I think so and this will help you know foster that repartee I think would be to use a French word the camaraderie with your um, chosen hopefully very good looking camping partner not that I would ever drop any rude hints so through the magic of being well the only guy who's making this this has been infusing at a light simmer for a little while. My house is beginning to smell divine, as indeed would your campsite. So the next trick we do is, according to the recipe, is we add honey. I'm just using Bog Ordinary Capilano, mainly because that was what was on my shelf. I don't want you to go to any particular trouble with your recipe because, well, I'm not, so why should you? So I'm grabbing a nice tablespoon of this beautiful stuff, available in supermarkets all over Australia, no doubt. Adding that. Stirring it gently. I don't want to get spilling in this. So I'm going to add that. This says orange, followed by the gin, orange juice and lemon juice. Now I personally have a problem with heating my gin. Simple reason, it lowers the alcohol content. So I'm going to turn this baby off. Completely. Yes, beautiful. I'm going to add 300 mils of nudie orange juice, which is about the only orange juice that I can take in Melbourne that doesn't give me migraines. Anything that's got a preservative in it is not a friend of this boy. So, yep, yeah, that's about 300 mils. Now, I'm a bit, how should I say, 
challenged when it comes to my gin because we will hear the sound of happiness it's a subdued sound of happiness tonight after all you're frightfully cold so it says 30 mils and i think that what i'm about to add is 30 mils of gin which is two shots isn't it you do the math i'm just calculating I think two shots of this beautiful gin. The heating off. Now I'm going to be extremely careful and pour this beautiful stuff into. Actually, I'm going to stir it first. That would be really good. Make sure absolutely everything is in the right spot. Some recipes call for lemon juice. My tree has no lemons on it, therefore, I'm not using lemon juice. So this baby should be about ready to go. I've got a wife who desperately wants a shot of this. And I'm about to be a good husband and give my wife a shot of this. And because we're out in the Modifaric bush making this baby, I'm tossing all the chewy bits in because who takes a strain away with them camping? Seriously, people. So turn this off camera. Give the other half, she who must be obeyed, a shot of this and we'll see how it goes. My other half, a.k.a. the Chief Financial Officer, a.k.a. Chief Tester, has just had a hit of this baby and declares it a winner. She told me, if anything, it needs to be slightly warmer because she doesn't like her toddies slightly cold. It's up to you. You're out camping. It's an imprecise thing. This is the first hot toddy. There are others coming that have gin in them because it's winter and we drink gin, don't we? Thanks for watching. That subscribe button is just waiting to be pushed. People, my people.